All right, my name is Kathleen McGivern, and if you don't know me, I am also Ms. Artastic. I am both an art curriculum, art lesson designer for kids. I spend my time um, as Ms. Artastic designing art lessons for kids, and also I am a professional artist. I attended Emily Carr University uh, way back in 2007 till 2011. Um, and then since 2011 to present, I show my art, my own personal art professionally in galleries. And I'm also an art curriculum designer. Last de decade, I was also a teacher. And guys, I have to share that my membership, the Artastic Collective Curriculum for Art Teachers and Instructors is open for the winter 2022 Enrollment! You're listening to the Miss Artastic Podcast. Inspiration for art teachers. Here's your host, Kathleen McGivern. All right, so as I said, the Artastic Collective Curriculum for Art Teachers is open for the winter 2022 enrollment for a limited time. Remember, I only open my enrollment two times a year. That is it. I cannot open it in other times because it, it just will not work with the logistics of how things are released to your library every single month. Because every single month, every month that you log in, there's going to be new art resources in your library as you retain your subscription to this membership. So, Enrollment's going to be open from January 1st to January 23rd, 2022. Consider your year planned with this thorough art curriculum that covers artists and art history, the elements and principles, themes, holidays and seasons, sketchbooks and more. Oh my goodness, I am so excited right now. I just can't even, so just stick with me because I gotta tell you why I'm so excited. And honestly, this is like a huge, huge deal. Like I've been preparing for this moment and this moment is finally here, my friends. So find somewhere comfy to listen or even play it in your car while you're like driving to work to get all that like winter relaxing done because it's time to get on into the reason why I'm so, so, so excited. All right, so stick with me and learn about my philosophy behind creating my diverse and unique art curriculum. So I am so excited right now because the response to the Artastic Collective has like literally been amazing. And so far I am seeing so many art teachers that are saying yes to the transformation for their year. So like already, teachers have enrolled because enrollment opened on the first and so many teachers have enrolled already and they're just like yo sign me up this is the membership for me i just want to be planned i just want to spend more time like with my family with my fur babies like doing anything else other than like teaching and planning so i they just want to like go to school and feel like energized knowing that they can just like grab an art lesson and like teach amazing content to their kids and like the planning part the behind the scenes part that the kids don't see is all done so they can just make the magic happen and that is why they're saying yes so the reason why they're experiencing a transformation is that they're saying goodbye to all that lesson planning all that searching on pinterest or on Facebook groups, whatever, just trying to find ideas or even just sticking a whole bunch of low quality free resources that they just download together. Instead of that, they're choosing to transform their world by enrolling in the membership that's going to allow them a culturally diverse curriculum that explores a range of art making styles, artists, and art history movements in addition to the elements of art and principles of design and themes so one of the most like the most important thing things for me when designing art lessons is that i am creating and designing with kids in mind 
I want to make sure that I'm creating for a range of different styles and types of art lessons. I want to make sure that I'm using both different art mediums in one project, but also I want to make sure that I'm creating either through the style of art of the artist that is focused on in the art lesson or through the style of the art mo movement that is being focused on. I think it's very important that kids are exposed to a range of different art making processes and styles because we're never really gonna know what will speak to them personally and their own artistic intuition. For instance, in my own personal life, I love to create lowbrow surrealist creepy animals. I love to paint them, I love to draw them. I create them as large ceramic figures. That being said, I don't think that style is for everybody. And some people are going to love my art and some people, well, to be honest, for a lot of people, it's not for them because it's it can be dark, it's creepy, but I get, I love that. Now that's not necessarily what I'm creating for Ms. Artastic. That's me being Kathleen McGivern, the artist that puts my art in galleries um, in British Columbia, in downtown Vancouver. That's where that is <laughs> more receptive. It's for people who collect it, right? Not for the kids. For kids, it's a different. When I'm putting on the Ms. Artastic hat, it's a different sort of hat. But what I'm saying is, is that I recognize that I'm making my art for me and for my niche of people who appreciate that. And as an artist and as somebody who likes art, I know that all of us connect to different types of art and styles of art and different subject matter. And that is what the beauty of art making is all about. So this is okay. All of us to connect, to connect to different styles of art making, different mediums and different materials, different artists, different art movements. And I think that as art teachers, we really need to be conscious of exposing kids to a range of art movements and art styles so they can begin to figure out what style and medium speaks to them. So when they begin creating their own artworks from their imagination, they're going to be able to create with a connection to a certain movement, to an artist, to a style, and hopefully that will plant some sort of seed that will then blossom into their own style of art making and will grow with them and evolve with them as they grow and grow as little humans. And I want kids to have that opportunity to try new things. That is, that is my why. So for my curriculum and for the resources you'll see in the, my Teachers Pay Teachers Store Ms. Artastic and my membership, which is called the, collect, sorry, called the Artastic Collective, they are two separate websites. Teachers Pay Teachers is just like my art lessons in a way you can grab one singular art lesson at a time. The membership is where you pay uh, a monthly fee, it's a subscription, and then you're going to get those art lessons from my TPT store added to that library every month. So it's a pay as you go system, making it more affordable. Okay, so that is the benefit. So if you're an art teacher, it's in your benefit to have the membership because you're gonna get a lot more and that money is going to go a lot further. You're gonna get a lot more. So that is, and then it's all curated as well. It's all carefully curated for each month that you retain your membership or retain your subscription. So as a creator of curriculum and as someone who is a professional artist, it's very important for me that I step away from my own style of art making and that I indulge and explore and express different styles of art making and different ways to experiment with art mediums. The reason is because I want to make sure that these art projects expose kids to different styles of art making and different artists and that the projects themselves really represent the artist that originally created it or what it's inspired from. For instance, if I'm creating a resource or I'm creating resources that are created for either historical Japanese artworks or are inspired by artist Emily Carr from British Columbia, Canada, I really stepped away from my own style of art making to create those art lessons. And I really want to ensure that I capture like the true essence of those original artworks, the style and the artist. I really want to make sure they're properly represented, 
but in a culturally appropriate way. I want teachers to be able to look at the lesson and then say, wow, that is the style of historical Japanese artworks, or that is the style of a medi medieval tapestry, or that is the style of an Alma Wizzy Thomas. And then they can transfer that to the imagination of students and inspire them with a range of different ways to create. With the Artastic Collective membership, you're not always going to see like cute cookie cutter art projects, although I do have some cute super cute art projects in there as well. There is everything. That's the whole beauty of it is that it's like a bit of everything, right? So that I want to make sure that the essence and that the style of art making for every single art project, no matter the different units or the subject matters or art history movement, that you're going to see kids being able to make their art, but then also put their own artist flavor on it. You're going to find art lessons that truly represent the art history movement or artists that they are representing. You're going to find unique and creative art lessons that you're not going to find anywhere else, but anywhere else because I have truly dug deep into my own soul to develop these lessons that are going to stand out from any other art curriculum out there. And right now, the Artastic Collective membership is open for enrollment for a limited time. Remember, it's closing at midnight on January 23rd. That's it. You cannot come and say, yo, Kathleen, can I join? It's the 24th. I get it. I know it's late. Sorry. The answer is no. <laughs> you have to do it by the 23rd at midnight uh, Pacific Standard Time to give you a little bit of extra time if you're in the East because I am on the west of Canada. Anyway, that doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> um, so let's dig in um, and learn a little bit more about the membership. So the Artastic Collective membership is the curriculum for our teachers that will save you time and provide you with a culturally diverse lessons that are integrated with the elements and principles of art and his art, uh, so the elements of art and principles of design and art history. It is lesson planning made easy. So consider your lesson planning days over. Pick a category of carefully curated art lessons in the art teacher resource library and just teach. That's all you got to do. The examples are already made. So I will give you basically all my examples. You just print it off um, virtually, of course, not the, the real. I can't. I only make one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm giving you the virtual version that you can print off. <laughs> there is a display sign done, the lesson plan is made, the worksheets, the rubrics, the reflections, and other forms of assessment, they're all included. So your time will be spent teaching. So have fun and get back all your freedom. Remember, this is the proven platform all instructors need to know about. Stop wasting your time and frustration dealing with the endless hassles and headaches of organizing, searching for new art lesson ideas, organizing your computer with folders for this movement and that. No way, I did that already. It's done. Don't reinvent the wheel. Stop stro scrolling through your Facebook groups or Pinterest and saving it to all those different Pinterest boards. My goodness. And now there's idea pins on top of it. Like, no, it's all good. I got you. I got you, my friend. So, here at the Artastic Collective, I will handle all of that for you and so much more. You will get to enjoy things like step-by-step -step tutorials, a creative and diverse art curriculum, pre-planned content and resources, a proven course to help you grow as an art instructor, supportive community to connect and learn from. And that is just the beginning. So take your teaching to the next level and feel the weight of planning and organizing fall right off your shoulders. Embedded with culture and the elements and principles and art history, this membership is more than information. It's a transformation. Explore a range of artists and art history movements such as Frida Kahlo, Surrealism, Pop Art, Ancient Greece, Prehistoric Art, Emily Carr, Wayne Thibault, Yayoi Kusama, Alma, Wiz Alma Wizzy Thomas, and Jean-Michel Vascat, and so much more. Play with themes such as space, social emotional learning, growth mindset, ocean, rainforest, Thailand, India, Mexico, Canada, and more. Dive deep into all of the elements of art, the principles of design with hands-on opportunities and enjoy a new bundle of lessons each month for 24 months in the artists and art history 
themes and elements and principles sections as long as you retain your membership. Holidays and seasonal. With holidays and seasonal, you're going to get all the art lessons you'll ever honestly need in holidays and seasonal. It's so big and like every single year I am making tons more of these lessons because the world changes, uh, what's popular changes. And so I am constantly creating to keep up with what's current, which means that it's in your benefit because when I make it, I give it to you. It goes right into your library. So these massive sections will be, be, will be released over um, time, over in big chunks, over six months. But know that as the years go on that you keep your membership, it's still going to continuously grow because I'm always creating always I'm always creating new lessons I'm not a static individual nor is the world static so I am constantly keeping up with what is current by creating constantly and then you benefit from that ceramics and sculpture explore ceramics and sculpture with your students with these easy to teach lessons stress-free clay is coming your way <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm just laughing because sometimes I'm, I'm just in my art studio right now. I'm looking at uh, some art projects of mine that I'm currently creating. And, and even as somebody who's a professional ceramicist, like it's not always stress-free clay. That's, I'm just trying to make it more stress-free for you is what I'm saying. But I know that clay is not <laughs> super stress-free. Uh, I, I'm laughing because... <laughs> Like yesterday, I, <laughs> I may, I'm making, I'm making my own wedding favors for my <laughs> wedding and, um, I'm creating porcelain little pots cause I'm growing my own succulents because you know, sometimes you get these genius ideas like, Oh, I'm going to make my own pots for my own plants. And I'm also going to propagate and grow. Um, and then you, and then, then like reality hits like, Oh, clay has a memory and clay wants to do its own thing and I stamped the porcelain too hard but it remembered because I embossed our like initials in it <laughs> and, <laughs> and then it cracked so now instead of making x number of pots I'm making like 30 extras just in case because I only want to do it once so distracted guys my name I'm, I'm sitting here recording this I'm watching my <laughs> I'm watching my neighbors also blowing up some giant inflatable snowman in their front yard that's like 15, 20 feet tall. <laughs> oh, I was on such a good roll. Okay, anyways, sorry about that. So there's also an exclusive art teacher growth course. <laughs> oh, why are we putting up a giant snowman? It's not, so early. Oh, it's not, I'm recording this, it's not even, I'm, I, so you know, I, I pre-record things far in advance. And at the time of recording this, it's beginning of November. There's also an exclusive art teacher growth course. The learning never ends, especially for teachers and instructors. Discover vital information to help you grow as a teacher and connect with your class in new and exciting ways. This course is about helping you increase your confidence and teaching abilities and support system. Start growing as an instructor today by signing up now. Strength and resolve, increase confidence, learn insightful methods. I'll cover topics such as lesson planning, organizing, productivity, assessment, reflective teaching practices, total participation, critiques, fast finishers, classroom management, and so much more in this packed course that is exclusive to the members of the Artastic Collective. There's also a community forum so you get to explore the members only forum to talk, collaborate, ask questions, get answers, and bounce around ideas or whatever. I'll be there too. You won't be lost in a giant Facebook group. I will see you. We will see you. So to better support our teachers, I created the Artastic Collective. And with the Artastic Collective Art Resource Library membership for art teachers, my mission is to provide you with prepared art lessons, resources, and activities that will allow you to free up your time and live your life, whether that means traveling, pursuing your hobbies, or spending time with your family. So what are you waiting for? This membership is intended for elementary and middle school teachers, and the enrollment is open now. 
join the other art teachers and receive access to art lessons in my most popular art resource libraries, including holidays and seasonal, ceramics and sculpture and sketchbooks, a new bundle or unit of every month in the elements and principles and themed units and artists in art history, our resource libraries for 24 months, an exclusive members only forum, art teacher challenges, professional development, exclusive year long art teacher growth course, exclusive directed drawing series with episodes exclusive to members with no commercials because it's not hosted on YouTube and create art projects that your students will love. So enroll now at artasticcollective.com. I will see you there. This is Kathleen McGivern signing out.